What up Sailor Senshi? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel, all about Sailor Moon news and reviews. Today I have just one box for you that I have opened to get me started for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I am doing a 500 subscriber giveaway once we get to 500 subscribers and we are so close. So thank you to everyone who subscribes. If you're interested in Sailor Moon and you're as obsessed as I am, definitely hit that little subscribe and notification button bell so that you know whenever I release new episodes because there are a lot of videos coming your way pretty soon. So today's video is just a little quick hit because the USJ, the Universal Studios Japan in Osaka collaboration with Sailor Moon is ending on September 30th and I am so sad that I will never get to go to it, but I did get some items from a proxy buyer who went to USJ and she purchased these items for me and sent them over. So I'm super excited about unboxing these. Now this is the same buyer that I got a previous box from and I decided to go ahead and purchase the rest of the things that I wanted from USJ through her as well. So if you're interested in proxy buyers, let me know down below and if she's okay with it, I will announce her name as well in the comments. So I'm gonna go ahead and break into this because I'm really excited about getting these items out of the box and displayed. Yay, this is awesome and I'm so excited. Okay, so again, each of these items are from USJ and the prices are on the back of these, so I will tell you what the prices are for each of these items. First off, we have three really cute, kind of shimmery little charms from USJ. Uh, these are bag charms, so you can stick them on a bag or you can stick them on another keychain or pretty much wherever you want. But we have Sailor Moon's Crescent, we have the wand, which says Universal in the center of it, and we have Luna over on the side. These cost 1700 yen, which is a little bit less than $16 USD. All right, and the next item I have is a series of post-it notes. So each of these post-it notes features something different, like we have these long post-it notes that have the transformation wands, we have each of the Sailor Scouts on this large post-it note here, and then we have a post-it note on the side with a bunch of graphics, we have a bunch of graphics on this one, and Sailor Moon is featured on this one over on the side. Now this group of post-it notes costs 1300 yen, which is very close to $10 USD, and and the back of this also features a lot of really pretty art. Now with all of these USJ items, they will have a Toei sticker on it and that's how you know that it's legit. I'm curious if these are sticky. And yes, they are. Oh, and interestingly enough, these little Sailor Scout ones are separate pieces. So it's not just one big post-it note page. It's separate ones for each of them, like little bookmarks. How cute. All right, next we have a series of clear files and these clear files cost 1600 yen. I believe there's six of them in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it looks like six. So first off we have Sailor Moon. It's a Sailor Moon clear file and it's pink and it's really cute. And on the back we have the universal wand. Yay! Then we have a group of Sailor Scouts. So this features the inner five. And on the back of it we have a silhouette of Sailor Moon. Super cute. Then we have Sailor Mercury, Sailor Mars, Sailor Venus, and Sailor Jupiter. And I love that these are the classic anime versions of them because they look super, super adorable. Each of these has their transformation wand on the back as well. Clear files, man. This is like the last thing that I thought I would be collecting, but these are really pretty clear files. So this was a nice grouping. Thanks, USJ. I'm gonna have to use my knife for this one because it's pretty hard to get opened. There we go. All right, so this is, I believe, a pin set that was 4,000 yen, which is almost $40 USD, but the front of this packaging has gold foil and it says Sailor Moon, Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Universal Studios Japan, just like all the other USJ items, and it features all of the different wands as pins. So each of these has a nice little backing on it, and it's a regular backing. It says Naoko Takeuchi on it too, so it gives her a little copyright. But this is a really nice display case, so I might not even take these out because they're so pretty. I don't know, maybe I'll put them in an Eda bag. I haven't decided. I haven't decided yet. But you have, uh, this is kind of a nice little feature. You have the wand with universal set in the center of it, but you also have this wand set without universal typed into it. So you have a normal version of it. There's also the kaleidoscope wand, the uh, eternal tiara one. Then you have the moon stick at the very front. And each of these has really nice gold trim on them and they look very pretty. 
they look very, very pretty. So this is a really nice pin set. Okay, and then we have the tea set. So this features all of the inner Sailor Senshi and each of them has their own little tin can and each of them has a different kind of tea. I don't know if these are loose leaf or if they actually come in bags. I'll open them in a second and show you, but I have chamomile orange, blue flower earl gray, peach apricot, cassis, cassis, cassie, I don't know, and rose. And I'll go ahead and open these. Oh, and you're probably wondering how much these cost. Uh, I don't know. I don't see a price tag on them. I don't remember how much they cost, but I'll look at my emails with my proxy shipper and I'll tell you how much they cost in the show notes. These were being sold on eBay for way too much money, so I'm really glad that I held off until I knew that my proxy shipper was going back to USJ because I, I'm really glad that I got these. So all of them are taped shut but I'll go ahead and open the Sailor Moon one so we can find out if they are loose leaf or if they are actually packaged. Looks like they do come in bags. Mmm, smells good. And with these bags, so they come in little bags for the tea, they smell really strong, which is nice. I like strong tea. And there are four in this case. So chances are there's four in each of the different tins and they have a nice little string and it has a little crescent moon on it too. Now here's the problem with things like this. Because they are so pretty and they smell so good, I don't want to use them. Maybe I'll use one of each and I'll do a taste test of each of them so you can know if they're worth your money or not. Oh, they do have an expiration on the bottom too. It's 2020. So I have to use these before 2020. We'll just give it that. But let me know if you want me to do a taste testing of each of these. I would love to do it and I think that would be really fun. And it's a great excuse to, you know, drink some tea because who doesn't like tea? All right, and the last item that I got from my proxy shipper is this very big bag. This bag was for popcorn. <laughs> it looks a little ridiculous. This is a really cute lanyard that features a bunch of little details from Sailor Moon and it can be adjusted with the little plastic adjuster right there. But I believe you could only get this if you purchased like some kind of popcorn dealio or something like that, I don't know. But on the front of it, we have this huge bow. The compact has a bunch of gems in it, just like you would expect. The bow itself is kind of a rubber material, so it chances are it'll pick up a lot of dust. And then if I open it, oh. It doesn't smell like popcorn, so that's good. It looks like nobody put popcorn in here, but if you open it, it's just a simple, plastic box, but this is so cute. It's just a really cute way to display things on your bookshelf. Like I could put all of my gashapons in here, for example, or I could put a bunch of plushies in there and have them like sticking out of the top. Oh, actually, that's a really cute idea. I like that idea. But to open it, you simply push down and pull back like so. And to clip it shut, just push down again and then push it forwards. And that's all there is to that. So this is very, very cute. I actually really like this. Okay, so that is everything from my USJ haul this month. Remember, it's only going until September 30th, so it is closing out very shortly in case you are in Japan and you still wanna go visit there and see what they still have in stock. I pretty much got everything that I wanted from this collaboration, so I was really, really happy with my purchases, and I was very happy that I found a proxy shipper that had fair pricing. So let me know what you think of these USJ items and which items were your favorite. I know what my favorites were, of course, like the tea. Mm, so delicious. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, make sure to put those down below. Make sure to hit that like button and that little notification bell icon so you know whenever I have new episodes coming out. Thank you so much again for watching. My name is Sailor Snubs. Ciao!